Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. 1988. Oh, it's 1988. Is it the 14th of July? I'm gonna be honest, I always have trouble reading it backwards. Leaving already. Sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight in the morning? How are you feeling? Tired, nauseous. Is she pregnant? We're gonna do tired. Just like yesterday. Okay, so she hasn't been feeling well. I'll call your school and say you can't come in today, okay? I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idlis, very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba, don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Mm. There are rips in the couch. Mm. Okay, fine, I'll make it. Okay, I'm gonna say fine, I'll make it then because I, I wanna see I wanna see how it's done. Wait, five minutes? All it took is five minutes? Vemba, really it's fine. No no no. No. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Hmm. She's going through it. I wonder why. Oh, this Venba! I should have known. I should have known that. Flip in the pan. Okay, let's get this done fast. Let's get it. Although... Ooh, what is this? Should I try my mother's recipe for once? Yes. The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. The music so far has been really good. <laughs> okay. What do we gotta do? Tools, idli plate, towel, cooker, water, batter, holes to let steam through. These are also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to whatever that says or it will leak. Okay, so we don't know what to do to prevent the leaking. Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly okay got it hmm i have not made idli with these kind of plates before okay the only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates the recipe also calls for towels and i'm not sure why is it to prevent the the batter from leaking through i i bet you that's what the missing piece is but Alma swears this method makes the idlis a lot softer Let's let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Not that. Okay. Water first. Got it. Done. Towel in. Just kidding. Um. No point putting a plate without batter in the cooker. Okay. So we put batter in these guys. Let me do that. I don't think I should cover the batter with a towel. Okay. <gasps> Does it go on before? No! 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 No, no! Uh, but I can't take it out. 
out anymore. Okay, that's fine. Let's just... I bet you it goes on before. Okay, we're just gonna... It's fine. Let's turn it. Oh, batter. Duh. Let's try that. Uh. Done. Just kidding. All right, let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. Let's see. Let's see. Batter leaked everywhere. Through the holes. I wonder why. I wonder why. Okay, now we know. Now we know. Now we know. It's fine. It's fine, though. We're okay. Let's try it again. We got it. Okay. Water in. Boom. Done. Towel in. Batter in. Boom. Done. Turn it. Towel. Batter. Boom. Turn it again. Towel. Batter. Done. Lid. On. Uh. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm, I'm so mad that I didn't put it on before, though. That's okay. Oh, but they look so good! I've had in these ones before, and they're so fire! So fire! She looks so tired. Oh, she made little faces, though. Oh, wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. She's like, you really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Italy's. Bemba, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch for once. Bavlin, you're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave, I couldn't sleep peacefully. What will I do for lunch? Yeah, what will you do for lunch? I'd still have to cook, as exhausted and sick as I am. That's true. You just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. This is so hard for you to cook, even on days like this. You're right. Sorry. It's okay. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. Oh, man. But unless the school gives you more shifts or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. Oh, okay. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Aw. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. I wish. I wish. Okay, Smiley! Oh, she's getting dressed up! She's feeling herself. I wonder why. Hmm. I wonder why! Venba, are you home? What did the doctor say? Yeah, what did he say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Oh, man. So we can't do full time. 
Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Uh, okay. Idli's again? Ah! Okay! <laughs> what has gotten into you today? Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What did I say? What did I say? Oh my gosh. But they were already struggling. Oh, that's so hard. Okay. Um, so I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though and we're barely scraping by as it is. That's so tough. We can't provide any, everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for... Oh. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. That is so tough because all you want is the best for your kid. That's a really hard position to be in. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? She's just so happy. Look at her. I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Bavlan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. That's so cute. How else could they turn out? He's like, yeah, you're right. We're pretty cool. We're pretty cool. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. 1994, it was 1988, so it's six years. Oh, look at that cat! My name is Pavlon, sir. Pavlon, sir. Gavin! Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Gavin. I have a lot of work to do. What's going on? Is he not getting the job? Yes, sir. I've managed to transport hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Cobbin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like that job was in India, sir, but... Gavin, wait there. Don't run. <laughs> wait, did you see the mask? Oh my god, the mask just moved. I didn't like that. The eyes just moved. Gavin, come back here. This has become a routine now. I'm concerned about him. Like, why isn't he getting the job? Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Ayo, that towel is so dirty. Here, wear this shirt, Kana. No! But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. Dude. Ah. Is he not getting the job? I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. But I don't want to! Speaking dumb, old coven. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Gunna? I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Dude, the guy is overqualified. 
If you didn't get the job, I swear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. No, 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 he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Good day. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory. I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. For what to go? I'm going to do this one, though. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Oh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spend half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamo at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? No! What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. No, but it's important. That's why we picked it. Names sell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kava means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. Oh, that makes me so sad. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dakana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. How about something better? How about, oh, okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's make something at home. What are we gonna make? Like parota. Dosa? Eriapan? Yi dosa? Biryani? Gari dosa? No, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Food is so important for culture. Kavin, have you ever had putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. A lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. A rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. We love the reverse psychology. <laughs> Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Ah, I'm so excited. All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, duh. Huh? Ooh. I have never had this before. I'm excited. Okay, we'll do flour. So 500 grams of rice, water, blend five, okay. Separate the rice from chunks, combine chunks. Okay, the third step, no idea. Combine 500 grams of rice with water. 500 grams of rice, water. So we're gonna blend the rice, separate the rice, 
and then something with the chunks and then combine the fine rice with the water okay all right let's make some flour when do we get to the rocket part soon da be patient okay so i already forgot okay so let's put that in there put that in here blend adding well recipe says adding flour to the rice is the final step do you think this is right it's a bit chunky isn't it Putu flour should feel like slightly wet sand try again okay what did i do wrong rice water oh oh, oh, oh. i only had to blend the rice not the water okay so let's put this guy here nice what else we gotta do separate the rice from the chunks perfect something with the chunks do you think we put the chunks back in yes we're not gonna waste boom i think there's still gonna be some chunks left over yeah yeah okay in you go perfect is that it nice okay what do we do now combine five okay with the rice so we're gonna take this dump it i think this is perfect yes why does this feel like flour even though there was so much water we have to mix the water and the flour little by little the final consistency should feel slightly wet sand it should feel like slightly wet sand all right that wasn't too hard yeah i'm on when will we get to the rocket whoa that's so cool okay let's see oh shoot oh my god all of it <laughs> all of it is okay water how do we figure out what's what okay so water at the bottom I'm going to guess the white stuff is the 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 flour that we made. Put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with assemble the parts so that what water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed and in what order coconut can crumble easily. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This almost reminds me of a of a mocha pot in the way that it it seems a food. Okay, um, the mold. So we want to do coconut, rice, rice, coconut, rice, rice, coconut. Perfect. Put this on top. Put you on top. that let's try it let's see let's see let's see let's see oh that looks so good that was so cool i can't believe it didn't fall oh that's awesome that is so cool can we do that again Oh, yay! He's excited! That makes me happy. I wonder if it's, like, slightly sweet. We are unable to offer you the position of secondary teacher at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Oh, dude, so neither of them can get a job. Or struggling to. Is he asleep? I think so. Gavin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview, another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. C 
Canadian work experience. That's messed up. That's messed up. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh. But I think you should take that sales job at his company. Ah, <sighs> dude. We really are at the end of our rope. It's all about who you know here. We're behind on rent again. We haven't sent money home in a while. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. Not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Dude. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on the Putu today. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel like there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? Oh, man. I didn't even consider that. The other day, he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it. Or if he's embarrassed. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yeah, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Venba. You'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? Man, those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Okay, one year later. Oh, it's sleeping now. Okay, cool. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavlan. He's my dad. P-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know what? Oh. Why is it kind of blurry? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? He's like stained again. 
I was thinking because it's in English, but the other ones were also in English. And they were clear. She says, no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. I hope he's okay. It looks beautiful. Why are we walking through the park, Ama? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kavan. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you so worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. That's so tough to have to act like you're not worried so you protect your kid, you know? You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? Okay, I can do that. Okay? Okay, I can do that. Oh, this is really cute. This is really, really cute. Oh, man. Why did that lady say that Appa's very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? He doesn't really like his job, Gavin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, yes. He loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that means that he's like more at peace, right? So how did you and Appa meet? What did you do back home? Oh, I don't know which one. I'm gonna do this one. You know, I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes, Apo told me. A Vemba is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay. So we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabbiest person I had ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Appa? Oh, shut up! That's so cute! Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a story? It was a poem? I'm gonna guess poem. It was a Venba. A gorgeous one, too. It was about the school, the students, our protest. And it was about me. <gasps> Shut up! Shut up! Somehow, people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change. Ah, he did that! Both of y'all did! And I was smitten. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 
Why did you move here? Do you think you'll ever go back? Hmm. Let's ask why. Oh, she looks sad. It wasn't an easy choice. Bablam wanted to be with me. And I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. Well, a lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to make it our problem. Oh, I wonder why. It was getting really hard to deal with, so... We gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Oh. Ah! <gasps> Seize him. I hope he's okay. What happened? No, no. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. 2006. So this was like six, seven years. Oh, he's grown up so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're old. No, they're old. Ah. Oh. And the glasses. He still has the glasses. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions, too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Ba. I'll go help Gavin pack. Wait, is he going to college? How old would he be? He's not old enough, is he? Oh, what are we making? <gasps> Biryani gravy. No recipe, just vibes. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, this recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before, but I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Ooh, what are these clouds? I rem Okay, remember, add all these first. These ingredients, so expensive. Okay, so leaves looks like all the spices first. Amma, why are you going through all this trouble? It's okay, D. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. All right, all the spices first. I remember seeing these. Boom. These fennel seeds. Oh, these guys too. Oh, I feel like I can smell this. <laughs> I can never get tired of how great toasted whole spices smell. Um, I wish you could see how much these cost here. You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredient you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. Okay, onions first. 
And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard to fry anything else. Okay, so onions first, tomato last. The onions first. These guys. And then tomatoes. Cool. Oh, and the garlic paste after? No, I gotta start over. Okay. Onions, this, that, that. Yes, nice. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Alma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it, but I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these, if he ever does. I think he will. Marinated beef, okay. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. Ah, how am I gonna remember all this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Okay, spices. Turmeric, biryani masala, chili powder, ooh. I feel like I wanna try cooking this. Oh, and the salt and salt. And then water. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. Oh. I, I can smell it. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Oh, okay. Book. One, two, three, four. Okay. One sun let in low flame for, okay. One, two, one, two, three. I feel like the one is going to be the rice. Two. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. The one, two, three might refer to the different flavors of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Okay, let's try to remember. I see we just add all these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong with... Oh, Amma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. Oh, I don't think they've been back. Do you think they've been back? This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Okay, so... Oh, wait. We gotta look at this again. This looks like the bay leaves. I think this goes on top. All of this goes on top. So I think. One, two, one. Okay. Do you think it's. Okay. Oh, okay. One, two, one, two. And then these guys. Ghee, cashews, cilantro, fried onions, saffron milk, mint. Ooh. I think this is right. I just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay, cool. Oh, I think this is it. Nice! Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. Should be good now. Ooh, let's see. Let's see it. I'm hungry. Achieving a long family beef. That's pretty good. <laughs> he smells it. Oh, it makes me so sad that he still has those glasses. Look at how big he is! How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really isn't the best. Beef really is the best, sorry. Oh. It's really good, Ama. 
I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Um, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Why? I'm. I really want to know why it's stained. Like the why? Why the bubbles are stained? Yes, Gano, but we'll miss you. Could it be like? I think it's like maybe some of those words. I don't know. Maybe some of the words like there's a language barrier. Have you packed everything? Why does he look sad? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. No, 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 my heart. They were probably so excited. This way you and Abba won't have to drive all day. I was looking forward to the drive. I feel like she would say we want to see the university. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and the buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour, really. Just a bunch of gray buildings. Okay, Gana, sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> He's like, I'm not even listening. I just wanted the beef. Um, maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know why. I packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some potis, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kavin? Um, I can't take that in the car. Why not? Why is he still ashamed of the food? I packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Amma, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. He's still like not even in it. <laughs> I'm just eating Kuska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone will be doing that. I'm just trying to be health. No. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like Little India anymore. Oh, dude. I just want to be normal. No! For once. Ghana. The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just to be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. Dude, they put in so much work for you to have the best education and all these opportunities, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week too. So please try not to worry. That's the same thing she said to her Ama. Dude! Ah, uh, she's not gonna feel that! I hope he does, but that's the same thing she said to her mom. Okay. I like the way he popped up. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he, he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent and makes his own choices, even if they are so, 
Incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Aww. We're unable to offer you However, we can go Oh, dude, seriously? Oh, did Calvin reach university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we ho told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yeah. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Oh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week, but maybe we should let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Bavlan. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up? Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Gavin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Gavin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me, and all the poems and the stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park... Oh, is he finally going to talk about it? Maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kavan to be who he really wants to be. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. <laughs> oh my God. Stop it. Stop. Longing for those who have been, who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. 2014. Oh my God, was that 10 years ago? No. No. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, is it him? Oh, look at the couch! Oh, what are we gonna make? Rotate. <gasps> Ooh. I think I know what these are.
We're gonna fry them, right? Yes! Oh, these are so good. I don't know the name of them, but they're so good. Yeah, let these fry up. Yep. Getting there. Take you out. You ready? Perfect. They're like crunchy. Oh, what are we making here? Okay, this is ghee. He's coming home, isn't he? He's coming home. Ooh. Okay, slice. Pull it. in here. Ooh. I can just smell it. Like that looks so good. Ah! I hope he appreciates it. Like I hope I hope he appreciates the food. Fennel, I'm assuming. I don't. I. I'm not sure. Chili peppers. Coconut? Oh, it is. Okay. Take it off. Take it off. Ah! Pressure cookers scare the living out of me. I swear. I, I don't know. They just make me so nervous. But they cook things so fast. Okay, we're gonna add the coconut. Uh, which one else? This one? Okay. Cool. That one. Cool. Perfect. Oh. Do you think he's gonna have a girlfriend? Look at that chicken! Gonna flip that over. Mm. 
perfect. Nice. Ooh. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that spread. If he cancels. Unforgivable. No, 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 no. No. Are you kidding? I'll cook. Okay, sure. I'm gonna have a lot of plans today, but I can. I think I can stop by a bit later tonight. Okay. Let's scroll up. Good morning, Gavin. Have a great day. Good night, Gavin. Oh my God, this makes me so sad. There's a free app. I will share it with you. Oh. February 20th, 17. How are you feeling today? It is Appa's anniversary today. Please call Sita Papi if you have time. I am not sure we'll do. How are you feeling today? Oh, man. Dude, look at the amount of times that she reaches out to him. Good morning, Amma. Saw this and it reminded me of you. Oh. Maybe another day. Come home when you have some time. Happy New Year, Amma. Oh. Might go to Hopper's today. They give two times the points. Oh, this makes me so sad. Call him. Dude. Look at that. Sorry, Ama. Something came up last minute and I can't make it tonight. Dude, that's so shitty. She made a whole spread. You left your widowed mom alone by herself after she made a whole spread for you. Dude. She got the secondary teacher position. No, oh my God. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. Okay, the other one was 2014. Bachelor of Arts, okay, he graduated. Yo, that's hype. The exact vibe I was looking for. Great, but just so you know, that's not usually hung inside the house. My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just need something unique and interesting here. By the way, for the school lunch scene... I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all share food from their different cultures. What do you think Bria's lunch would should be? Chicken tikka? Spicy vindaloo maybe? That's... Yeah, what the hell? What if we show her eating nothing? Why? Yeah. 
Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot. LOL. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Maybe we can touch up on that? What are they talking about? Like, he, he got a Bachelor of Arts. That might not fit the tone of the... Oh, it's a show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represents Serrano. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even be open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like this would make me feel like I was worried about nothing when I wasn't. No! Send it! Send it! Send it! Is your mom gone? Don't tell me your mom's gone. Do not tell me your mom's gone and you never fully appreciated her while she was still around. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. That makes me, oh God. Oh, that makes me so sad for her. That makes me so sad. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is insurance authentic. Oh, she patched it up. Oh, she went to India? I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India. Whoa, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read them all very well, but let's see. Ooh, Idlis. This is Putu. Oh, I remember making this with Amma and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Appa's favorite. Natu koji kolambu. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. It must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Amma fed it to me, but... I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first and then I can start putting them together. Oh, tamarind? I love tamarind. Okay. I can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. That's really cool. I really like that. So when we were reading it from Venba's perspective, we could read it just fine because she understands Samo, but because he doesn't, we can't. That's so cool. I don't know. That's that's a, a nice little detail. I can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay. mixed nice okay the water changed really changed color i could add more water directly to this bowl but that might dilute the extracted water i need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind okay put that here put that there nice and do it again sick Some. A little bit more. The water isn't really changing color that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. That's as much as I think I'm going to get. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing. Let's do it. You better call her, is all I'm saying. Ooh. Tomatoes last. Remember that. Okay, well, there's no diagrams in this one. My thumbnail isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to fully translate this fully. But maybe I can do it step by step? Yeah, let's do it. All right. 
I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both of the grains first. Just have to figure out the missing parts and we can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Um, I'm gonna say that's burnt. No, it's not. No, it's not. We're good. Um, human and C is not grains. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to the sound of this, though. How is it already smelling so good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Okay. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Okay. Oh, I must have my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add minced something and crushed ginger garlic. Minced shallots. I'm gonna say shallots. It smells so good. It's usually around this time Ama has me waving all away all the steam from the smoke detector. Hmm, what gives that water? Then add water itself. First add that creates water, then then add water itself. There we go. So that's what the tamarind water. Ooh, what this has, but only two ingredients left. Add to taste. Salt. And what is this? Rasam powder. The smell is really taking me back. Ama was upset because of the phone call she got from home. What happened? I think I remember now. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, no. It's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Oh, her mom's sick. Something's going on with her mom. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Okay. Okay, water first. Salt. Bone in chicken. Oh, okay. Lid on. Screw this on. See, like this this part makes me so nervous <coughs> mm. I should keep going oh are you mm. That looks really good. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling an overiced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Oh, so it's like a television show. I thought it was gonna be like a play. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Rasam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool, wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on a chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross! Okay, so... Add this, and then... Coriander. That looks really good. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Oh. 
Amma. Amma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Oh no, Kana. Not at all. I just, I heard from home. Your grandmother. Amma loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away. Oh, she died, dude. Oh. That sucks. And to not be able to, like, be there. And Amma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kavan. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Amma. Or Appa. Any recipe updates? This is Chris. Caller. 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 Do it. Do it. All the anticipation. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Thank you, Vemba, miss. Oh. oh, he went back to India? He's wearing the glasses! Oh my gosh, okay. What are we making? Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin. Listen, it's all about temperature control with dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done easy, right? Yeah, for you, another disaster coming up. That was good. That was nice. I totally forgot everything. Okay, so turn this down. Um, nice. Okay. Rotate. We're going to spread it. Solid. Solid. Add the... Around the edge. I messed something up. Well, almost. What did I do wrong? We're going to try to figure it out. We're going to try to figure it out. Okay. I think... It was this, and then we got it. Oh no, we should have added water. Oh, that's not good. You spread the batter fine, Calvin, but you forgot to do some things before the spreading. Okay, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. No! No, I fucked up. I did it. See, oh, okay. It's because I, I poured the water on when it was so hot. It's going to be burnt. Yeah. Yeah, just bear with me. Bear with me. I think I got it this time. I think I got it this time. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. Turn this down. Turn this down. Do we have to wait until it's not as hot? No, it's fine. Now, it's good. Now, we spread. This is it. This is it. This is it. That's it. Look at that. And now, we're gonna turn it up. Yes! Yes! Do we wait? 
Amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, yay. Ready to try something harder? Okay, what are we gonna try? What are we gonna try? What are we gonna try? Are you ready to try it with the palm now? The dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Ooh, this is like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings. Yes. Not really though. All right. So. Nice. And then. Good. And then we're going to add more. No, right? Okay. Actually, we can just add whatever you like. Everyone's bum is different. Okay. Just make sure to add ghee first. Ghee first. On it. Okay. Let's do onions. Idli powder. Green chilies. Okay. We're doing all of them. And now we're going to turn it up. Nice. Okay. I think it's done. No, he's killing it. He's killing it. I haven't made this in a while. This was your Appa's favorite. Cari dosa is dosa with mincemeat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Ooh. Okay, turn this down. Why do we always have this so high up? Rotate. See, we're getting the hang of this. We're getting the hang of this. Look at that. Now we can start adding the curry toppings. Like with the palm, you want to add the ghee first. Then add the beaten egg as a coating followed by the actual curry and finished it with the coriander. Okay. Ghee first. Beaten eggs. And then curry. Coriander. Turn it up. Get it golden. Amazing. Flip. Perfect. Amazing. Amazing. This is fun. Yes, it really is. I'm glad that he finally came around and realized how important it is. You're doing great, Gavin. You can start your own dozer restaurant when you get back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve doses like back here you wouldn't have missed home so much and left huh i came here for more than just dosas cabin oh yes of course i was joking oh okay well you start eating these i'll make the rest and then join you oh no 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 i'll do it otherwise they'll get cold before you eat them well won't they get cold for you then let me do it this one time at least. Sure, Kevin. I'm glad. Mama, I have something to show you. The book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fix those too? And you wrote in Tamil? This is great, Gavin. Oh my god, he did! Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Ama. Actually, I quit that job. What? I... I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose the showrunners felt I could offer a, a Tamil perspective. But I've distanced myself from all of that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I even offer? 
I've acted like being Thumbo was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Thumbo when it is convenient for me. When there's a job on the line, I couldn't deal with it. I had no idea you felt this way. You're being unfair to yourself. Mm. I'm gonna go with the second one. It's true, Alma. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. Oh, I could see that. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt for you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made of when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. Oh. That's not why I came here, Gavin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me. And even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for living. I missed it so much, but I wanted to raise you like we never left here. And it must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavlan... Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Alma. Oh, I'm glad that they're both understanding of each other. I don't know, Alma, but this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana. But this is really nice. know what that mask is. I feel like it's significant. I need to learn about it. Oh, yay! This was so good. This is so good. I feel like this is so important. Oh, they did such a good job. They did such a good job. Yay! Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was so good. It's so important. 